Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. We're playing the daily challenge for January 30th, 2021. The character the Ironclad and the modifier slash specialized start with five copies of a single card. Colors cards, colors cards now appear in rewards. In terminal, whenever you enter a new room, lose one max HP. Start each combat with five plated armor. So I have to apologize for yesterday's video. The first four minutes were, um, I'm not exactly sure what happened. There was some issue with the recording, but audio was fine. So I will have to take a break at some point here to make sure that that doesn't happen again. But anyway, so the five copies I got are with specialized are the flame barriers, which is probably not a bad idea. And then actually, I if I didn't have a collector bonus already, I would probably try to go for the Highlander modifier. But I think last time I played with colorless cards, I realized that collector bonuses might be feasible with colorless cards because the colorless cards don't show up as often as uh, any other color would, I believe. So anyway, we'll try to go for collector bonuses if I can. All right, so in terms of elite, there's a three elite path on the left. Yep, no other one. Okay, and then up until the first elite, I can have four question marks. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let me actually take a break right now just to check if the recording is good. I'll be right back. Yeah, looks good so far. So uh, I'm not sure because I was really worried last time I didn't get any error message or anything. I just noticed after I was already exporting the video. But anyway, let's get started here. So bash strike. The uh, defensive cards are not going to be uh, too bad, although I will have a bunch of defense with the um, terminal modifier in the beginning. Let me just do this here. Okay, so I will need hopefully some strong attack cards before the first elite because otherwise I'm going to have some trouble. But uh, let's get there first. Okay. All right, Uppercut, Flex, Pummel Strike. Speaking of strong attack damage, Uppercut would be good. Let's take it. It is expensive, though. Yep, there's the Curse number one, as well as Potion Belt. I'm big up, gain two Potion Slots. Okay. And then here, yeah, I think it's worth it. I have so many Potion Slots. I'll take all of these. Although, Smoke Bomb is probably something I can remove soon. All right, Jaw Worm. Uh, let's double defend and strike. Okay. Mm, and then Bash Strike. Yeah, even with the uppercut, I feel like I still don't have enough damage. Um, let's do flame barrier and actually nothing else I can really do here. Yeah, if I get Sneko I offered now, I will definitely take it. I have a lot of high cost cards. Mm -hmm. And 18. Wow, alright. I have to wait a little longer. And two attacks would kill. Good. All right, Pummel, Searing Blow, or Clothesline. I am not sure if Pummel will be worth it. I have the Hexagos at the end. Ooh, that means I probably have to lose a bunch of HP here and hope I can perfect this one. Yeah, not sure if Pummel will be worth it. I th uh, the problem is I have a lot of high-cost cards already, right? Flame Barriers, the Uppercut, the Bash. So I'm not sure if I should take another high-cost card. Definitely not Searing Blow, right? So I think it's between Clothesline and Pummel. Let me go with the Clothesline just because against the Hexagos, weakness would be great. Remove a card. I'm totally fine removing one of the flame barriers because I don't. I only need four for the collector bonus. Let's do that. Oh, actually, maybe I should have removed a basic defend. That might have been better, right? All right, let me first upgrade the uppercut. I think that's a higher priority upgrade than the bash. Okay. All right, this one might be tough to perfect. As long as I draw one defensive card each turn, though, that might be doable. Let me think. I don't think I need the cultist potion. I don't think this is the right fight for the cultist potion. So let's just do defend and... Both line. Yeah, I think the problem will be once I start, once I shuffle back to my, um, well, once I shuffle my discard pile again, I'll have a lot of days and they will make my life very difficult. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, another nine. Uh, so I would love to do uppercut, but I actually wait. If I uppercut this guy, no, it applies the weakness before the vulnerability, right? So that's not going to be enough. So I think I just have to do flame barrier and a strike. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to start shuffling the Deist in my deck. Okay, luckily I, I need to draw at least one defensive card each turn. I can't... Hang on. No, actually, if I want to fully defend, I need to play the Flame Barrier and defend here. Yeah, I forgot that none of the sentries is dead yet, which might be a problem. Okay, and yeah, this is it, right? Do I want to drink the um, Block Potion? I am not sure, but let's try it. I mean, it might help. Who knows? I just need um, one defend and one strong attack to kill the backliner next turn and be fully defended. Um, yeah, this is exactly not what I need. If I drank the cultist potion at the beginning, that would have been enough, but sadly, I am not able to perfect by one HP. Mm -hmm. Oh well. 
Got nine incoming. Let's do uppercut and defend. Okay. Yeah. Let me see if I can actually perfect, except for that one HP damage. Yeah, here I can just do... Oh, oh, he was vulnerable, right? I forgot. Okay. All right, so far I'm perfecting except for that one turn. And I got to defend. Yeah, I do wonder if I should have played the Cultist Potion. I like to keep Cultist Potions for fights that I know will take forever. And I guess this fight did take forever, so I probably should have taken, uh, should have played it. Mm -hmm. And then any attack or defensive card. Yeah, so I could have perfected this one if I drank the Cultist Potion, which is fine. Let's just move on. Oh, come on. I, of course, have to take more damage before moving on. This was a long fight. All right, finally. Okay, we've got Smiling Mask, the Merchant's Card Remove Service, now always costs 50 gold, as well as an Energy Potion, and I might not go for the Popper Modifier because I would like to pick up something like uh, Feed, although, yeah, I don't think Thinking Head is that important for now. Let's go with the Headbutt, because there's a small chance I might not get any good or rare cards, in which case I will try to go for the Popper Modifier. I actually could have double struck this guy to kill him rather than defend. Hmm. And then let's do Strike Strike, okay. And then here I could do Flame Bearer. Let's do Uppercut, the weakness is enough to defend. Mm -hmm. And then any attack will kill next turn. Oh no, I'm weakened, so some attacks will kill next turn. All right, Bloodletting, Wild Strike, Dramatic Entrance. Dramatic Entrance is not a bad idea. Would be some nice AoE, but yeah, my opening hand is not that great. Do I want Wall Strike? Not really. Bloodling might be better, right? Yeah, because I, I have a lot of high cost cards, so having some extra energy would be nice. Juju Basin, normal enemy combats are no longer counted in question mark rooms is nice. Okay. And then next upgrade. Should I upgrade the Flame Barrier against the Hexagos? It might actually be pretty good, but no, I think I'll go with the Clothline. The extra weakness, I think, might be better. Okay, Lagavulin. Um, is there anything I want to wait for? Not really. I could start attacking here, right? Yeah, I can't think of... Maybe, no, maybe I should attack with the clothesline. Yeah, that way I'll guarantee to have the enemy be weakened throughout the whole first attack phase. Alright, let's just double defend and strike here. Oh, maybe I should have drank the cultist potion. Hang on, let me do that, because I don't think I'll, I'll need that in the hexagos fight. Let me do it now. Just because that basically gives me already two strength by the time I have to start attacking, which might make the difference. Alright, yeah, I'll do everything the same here. All right, so here I'll just play cards to get uh, to make the regret deal less damage. Okay, and so here, perfect. I can start with the clothesline and the strike. All right. And I just have to dry, dry, uh, not drive, draw the flame bears and come on. Seriously, the enemy is weakened. I needed one other defensive card. Well, not much I can do here. Yeah. All right. Well, I still think it was a good idea to drink the potion just because. It's nice to have, but uh, somewhat unfortunate I wasn't able to utilize it well. All right, let's do strike, and this was a bad hand. Actually, yeah, it doesn't look like I'll have a chance of perfecting at all, even if I didn't get unlucky in that one turn. Uh, let me do headbutt first, because I don't actually want to draw anything. Mm -hmm. And then I can do clothesline and... Uh, Bloodletting and flame bear is enough to kill. Okay. All right, no chance of perfecting this one. I got Horn Cleat at the start of your second turn, gain 14 block. That's actually really good against the Hexagos. So it's a weakness, also good against the Hexagos. And for the sake of the collector bonus, I'll take another cloth line. All right, here I actually want to drop down in terms of HP quite a bit if I can. So let me not kill anybody. Let's do cloth line and then strike. Okay. Mm hmm. And then here I'm not taking any damage. Uh, let's. I do want to bring them close to death, though. So I, I don't want to kill, but, you know, get them close. Okay. And then seven incoming. Let's do clothesline and wait. Um, what's my goal here? Maybe around the 30 mark or the 20 mark might be better. Yeah, because I'm already at the 30 mark. So let's do uppercut. And then I can do bloodletting and kill this guy. All right. I don't think I'll do defend here. Okay, I think this is a good value. Now I can kill. Alright. Okay, you got a skill potion, swap rank, perfect the striker, evolve. I didn't pick up any strike cards, right? Although, yeah, I don't think perfect the strike is the way to go. Neither is evolve, neither is sword boomerang. I'm not a fan of it either. I should take something. Let's take the sword boomerang, I guess. I'm not feeling super great about it. 
All right, a shop. So I could duplicate something with Dolly's mirror. And yeah, I have two upgraded carts, which I wouldn't mind duplicating, but is there anything better? Armaments might be nice. There's a second perfected strike, which means I could have gone for a perfected strike deck. Um, the Entropic Brew might be nice, especially since I have the Juzu Bracelet. Let's take the Entropic Brew, which means I won't be able to afford Dolly's Mirror, which is fine. And then I think I'll take the Perfected Strike, and then I could afford both Armaments and the True Grid. I think that's a decent shop. Alright. Okay, Gremlin Knob. Uh, let me try to get rid of the Regret. This is a horrible opener. Do I want to drink any of these? No, no, I think I'll keep them for the boss fight. Okay, I am fully defended here. Let's do Clothesline and Sword Boomerang. Alright. I am going to be vulnerable. 15 incoming. Uppercut. There's no... Wait, if I play this, he's going to go up to 18, right? So I won't be fully defended, but I could throw the... Um, weak oh, he's already weakened. Oh. Uh, let me see if I get any good defense out of this. I guess I could do power through, but... Uh, yeah, it's going to be hard to deal enough damage. Another 15. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I can perfect this one. 11. No, no, there's nothing I can do, right? All right, in that case, let's just do this. Okay. Another 11. All right, perfect the strike and a regular strike. Okay, and I should be able to kill next turn. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about uh, not having or having too much HP for the Hexagos fight. We got Preserved Insect. Enemies in Elite Combats have 25% less HP as well as a Flex Potion and... I can go for another True Grid for a potential collector bonus. All right, next upgrade. Probably should be the Flame Barrier, right, for the... Uh, no, let's go with another... Hmm, tough. Let me upgrade the Armaments first, actually. Okay, so now that I only have 17 HP, uh, the Horn Cleat should allow me to fully defend. So let me do Headbutt and Sword Boomerang. Okay. All right, 12 incoming. Actually, Flame Barrier would deal a good amount of damage. Let's do Armaments and Flame Barrier. Yeah, so that's, that'll be 36 damage back to him. Okay. All right, six incoming. Another flame bear is too much. Let's do clothesline. That allows me to fully defend. Uh, is there any harm to playing flame barrier? Now nah, let's let's save some of the HP. I hope I'm not going to need it. Six incoming. All right, I'll play the true grit. Uh, yeah, let's do perfect the strike and true grit. Mm -hmm. And then four, which I am fully defended against. All right. Okay, so this is my break turn. Uh, let's do uppercut and true... No, uh, let's do just a regular strike. I am waiting to get the Sword Boomerang to use a Flex Potion because I think I'm a little worried about not being able to deal enough damage. So here, let's do armaments, true grit, the regret, and then a regular strike. Okay. Another eight. I need to do Clothesline, right? Yeah, let's do Clothesline because I can't kill before next turn and next turn he might... Uh, well, I want him to be weakened next turn. 18, yeah, I needed I needed the uh, Flame Barrier here. I didn't get it. Uh, let me try this. Drink all of these. And then see if the Entropic Group gives me a Gambler's Brew. It didn't, but a Swift Potion might help. Okay, so Flame Barrier alone is not enough. I would have to duplicate it. All right, let's duplicate the Flame Barrier. Okay. And then let's do... Um, what do I want to do here? Probably Bloodletting, Sword Boomerang, Perfected Strike, and then Double Strike. Okay. And then he should die. My Yeah, so the uh, Entropic Brew saved me here. Good. No music. All right. Master Strategy, Corruption, the Bomb. Corruption is very tempting, although... Yeah, I currently don't exhaust anything, right? Except for whatever I exhaust with the True Grids. But yeah, I might get the Dead Branch, right? I should take Corruption. It would be my first rare card, right? Still, I think it's worth it. Let's take it. All right. I was kind of hoping for Snekolai, but uh, without it, extra energy is sort of important, but the Calling Bell might also be good. I think I'll go with the Calling Bell. I'll risk it, but I think Coffee Dripper might have been a good idea. Anyway, so up and pick up, obtain a unique curse and three relics. So I got Curse of the Bell as well as Bag of Probation. I start each combat, draw two additional cards. Pair up and pick up Race from Extra by 10. Enchant Ashes. Whenever you exhaust the card, deal three damage to all enemies. So now I'm actually incentivized to pick up a few exhaust energies, which I don't currently have. But yeah, three energy would be tough in this deck in particular. All right, two, two elite paths. If I stick on the right, I'll get two, three, four question marks. If I stick on the middle left, I'll get two, three... Shop four, five, uh, five question marks and one shop, or four question marks and two shops. So I think I'll definitely go on the left here. 
Start on the right, but then turn left. Ooh, this is a perfect fight for Flame Barrier. Um, yeah, let's do Armaments and Flame Barrier. That will kill almost everybody. Nice. Right. Sometimes you get the birds with lethality and they have tons of strengths. And sometimes you get Flame Barriers with the birds, which is just perfect. All right. The easiest bird fight I had in a long time. More cry and flame or clothline. I could go for another clothline for the collective bonus, but I'm actually thinking in flame might be better. Or war cry actually to um, work with the. Uh, well, no, what am I thinking? I thought I already have dead branch, which I don't. Um, yeah, let's go with the clothline. I should also probably pick up more skills because I have corruption. Uh, well, this would give me a collector bonus, and I'm losing max HP anyway. Let's do it, sure. Got five bites out of this. Okay, Shell Parasite with 10 incoming. Um, I think I'll do... Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's do Uppercut Bloodletting. And then Armaments, Sword Boomerang. And then I'll headbutt the Sword Boomerang, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seven, I'm fully defended here. Let's do Bite, Sword Boomerang, and Bite again. Okay. And 13 seems very doable. And yes, good. I got a flex potion again. Definitely not a searing blow. Let me sort A to Z. Do I have enough cloth lines? Yeah, let's get a collector bonus for cloth line. Okay, Calcus and the Chosen. Flame Barrier is probably fine, although a little excessive. But yeah, let's do Flame Barrier and then Headbutt. Okay. Probably should have played Headbutt first. Okay, six incoming. Um, let's do Uppercut. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll do True Grit, sure. Hmm. All right, this guy's not attacking me. Do I want to do armaments or flame barrier? Um, lots of options here. Let's do flame barrier and sword boomerang, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, this is a problem, right? In fights like this, I don't really have that much damage. This guy is scaling quickly, so I should probably prioritize killing him. All right, let's do... Yeah, here I think I'll just... Hmm, this is tough. Let me see what the attack potion gives me. Swift Strike and Kinesis Rampage, none of them amazing. Take the Swift Strike, throw the Explosive Potion, and then 14, 21. One short. Unless I do, hang on, if I do Bash and then Bite and Swift Strike, that's enough to kill, okay? Yeah, I'm not sure it was a good idea to sort of waste two potions in a fight where... Um, in a fight where I don't get really get any points out of winning, but uh, might be better to avoid all the damage here. Especially since I'm losing 27. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can heal some back up with the uh, bites here. Okay. And he's dead here. Good. Alright, we got a Power Potion, Armaments, Whirlwind, Heavy Blade. Probably not Heavy Blade, I don't really have any strength. Uh, let's go with another Armaments. It's, it's a skill and it helps me getting things separated. Oh, Necronomicon would be so good. Perfect. So the first attack played each turn that costs two or more is played twice. So I can pick up a Special Curse. Special Curse is great. The uh, Necronomicon itself is great because I have tons of high cost attack cards. Hmm, this is going to be a challenge. I wish I had extra energy. I am worried about this fight, so let me see what the power potion gives me. Berserk is going to be a disaster, right? So I can't really do that. It'll be 18. No, I can't do that. Don't want fire breathing. I don't really get status cards, but I could. And I don't think Sadistic Nature is going to be that great. Let's take the fire breathing. Okay, then I'll do flame barrier. Both that will be played twice, right? That will bring him down to 8. Yeah, let me double, instead of the Flame Barrier, let me double up on the Cloth Line. Okay, and then Defend. Alright. So here I'm fully defended, thanks to the fact that I'm, uh, that he is weakened. Okay, let me upgrade the Perfected Strike, or no, let me do... Wait, why is the... Oh, I just lost all my Strikes to the Bites. Oh, that means the Perfected Strike is pretty useless. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Alright, fine. Uh, let's still double play it. Better nothing. And then a regular bite. Okay. Mm. 15. Uh, so this would weaken him again, but I might have to double true grit here. Yeah, he's already weakened. Actually, no, one true grit. No, see, one true grit is not enough. Yeah, I don't know. Do I have a chance of perfecting? I think I'll have to risk it. Let me play one true grit. Oh, and of course it hit the other one. Well, I don't really have a choice then. Okay, fine. Yeah, would have been difficult to perfect this one. Possible, but difficult. 
All right, and this should kill, right? Let me do a bite first, actually, to heal a little bit, and then... All right. Got Gambling Chip as the Star Rich Combat. Discard any number of cards and then draw that many cards. Very nice. And then, yeah, another uppercut, definitely. Okay, another shop. Definitely want to go with the membership card. 50% discount on all products. Red Skull might not be a bad idea, although my max HP is going to drop quite a bit, so I don't think I need it. Uh, Ghostly Armor is pretty good. Let's take that. Do I want Metallicize? Not a bad idea. Infernal Blade also Exhaust. That's also not a bad idea. Yeah, let's take the Infernal Blade. That might be slightly better. Okay. And then for the second elite, I... Well, I guess I can go either for this shop. Well, I already went for a shop, right? So maybe I'll just go on the left here, get an extra rest site that way. Okay. All right. Um, what do I want? Probably don't need block cards here. Let's get rid of all of these. Probably don't need this. Oh, let me keep this. Okay, so then let's do double up on the clothesline. Okay, and then bite. Do I want to do bloodletting? Uh, you know what? Sure, why not? I can do another clothesline. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, 19. I'm almost fully defended. Uh, this does not kill. Uh, yeah, and then I'll, I'll probably just do true grit. Okay. Oh, perfect. It hit the right card. Very rare. Maybe I should try to get those true grits upgraded. Okay, so here I can do Corruption Flame Barrier, which allows me to fully defend, although I can't play the bite, which is fine. Oh, this guy's dead, actually. Nice. Another 9. Let's do double up on the clothesline. Okay, defend, and then bite. Perfect. Alright, Feel No Pain. Yeah, I probably should try to make the, the an exhaust deck, so let's take the Feel No Pain. And then I decide to go on the left. I don't think I need another shop. Strawberry, I'm pick up race to make sure by 7. Very badly needed. Okay, next upgrade. Should that be something like the Corruption or the Feel No Pain? I barely feel like I played the, play the Corruption. Let's upgrade the Feel No Pain first. Might help me more with the block. Who's my final boss? Champ, okay. Alright, Grim Leader. Everybody's attacking me. I could do Corruption. I th should do Corruption. Actually, in that case, let me keep the skills. Let's get rid of all the attacks. Okay. I was sort of hoping for another defensive card. All right, let's do Corruption Flame Barrier. How much do I have incoming? So it's 18 plus 27, 31. Actually, I can kill this guy if I play enough skills, right? Yeah, so that way I'm fully defended now. Well, as long as I play one more true grid. Okay, that was actually a pretty good turn. Yeah, it's nice to get the, um, what do you call it, Corruption out early. All right, let's upgrade everything. And then I'll double up on the bash. Okay. Yeah, the Necronomicon, Necronomicon makes a huge difference here. All right, Clothline and uh, Sword Boomerang could hit the Backliner. It did not. Well, it did once. Okay, I just... Actually, this doesn't exhaust, right? I just need to exhaust one card and the Backliner is dead. Mm -hmm. And... Or I can just bite. Yeah, that works. All right. Wasn't too bad. Perfect this one, actually. We got Frozen Egg, whenever you add a Power Cut into your deck, upgrade it, as well as... Um, I could go for another Armaments, right? That'll be my third. Let's do it. Okay. Alright, Burden Chosen again. Uh, let me try to fish for a... Um, what do you call it? Flame Barrier. Perfect. Uh, let's upgrade everything and then do Flame Barrier. Do I want to do Bloodletting? You know what? Yeah, no, no harm done in that. Okay. I could have played another Armaments, it's fine. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to try to get a few bites out if I can. Uh, actually, well, I'm not killing yet. Hopefully I can kill with a bite, just to heal a little bit. I would like to avoid... You know what? I think I'll wait, just because I want to play a bite. Uh, I want to avoid going into the champ fight with too little HP. Oh, come on, where are all my bites? Alright, I have to kill here. Okay, we got a colorless potion, twin strike pummel. Yeah, this gives me a collector bonus for armaments, right? Let's take it. And then I think I'll still avoid the shop. I don't have that much gold. Although I do have the membership card, but I think I'll save it. Tiny chest. Every fourth question mark room is a treasure room. I might make it a little harder to get enough curses. I only have three and I need two more. But fine, let's take it. I might get the curse key later or something. And then, nope, no curse here, but I got Vajra. So I just come with one strength. Okay. And last upgrade on this act at least. Should that be the corruption? I feel in long fights, that might not be a good idea, but yeah, let's get it upgraded. Okay. Alright, so not sure what my strategy should be here. I do have 16 coming. Probably want to start up with the armaments. Let's get rid of everything. 
Uh, do I want to weaken? If I weaken, he'll only attack for 12, so the armaments alone will be enough to defend. Yeah, let's just get rid of everything. Okay, this doesn't really help much. I could play Uppercut. Let me see what the Colors Potion gives me. This is Nature Magnet. Yeah, I don't think I can defend here fully. Unless I double armaments, which, yeah, I guess I have to do that. All right. Yeah, I want, wanted to get out an upper. Oh, no, even double. Up, no, wait. Yeah, double armaments doesn't work either. No, it would work if I do the. Um, yeah, if I throw the uh, weakness potion. All right. I mean, I, I will try to perfect as, as difficult as it might be. All right. Nine incoming. Is this too early for a corruption? I mean, let's play it. And then I just have to be a little... No, you know what? Let me do the... Ah, this is tough. Fine, let's do bloodletting, corruption, and then clothesline. I will have to be a little careful with how often I play these skills because I definitely want to keep some in my deck. All right, double up on the uppercut. Okay. Then infernal blade for a heavy blade. Yeah, only 25, which is not bad. All right. Okay, not getting attacked here. Probably just do Sword Boomerang, right? No need to play anything else. Could have considered throwing the Flex Potion, but I don't think that's necessary. Still not getting attacked. Okay, double up on the Bash. He'll split at... Uh, oh, alright. He's going to split next turn. Fine. At least I won't be vulnerable next turn, so that's good. Alright, Feel No Pain is not bad. And, uh, yeah, 6 damage. That's kind of pathetic. Okay. Hopefully I'll draw some good defensive cards next turn. I have a shot at being able to defend. 40 incoming. Um, hang on. Oh, I should have done the armaments first. That was silly. Uh, but yeah, I am able to fully defend. Good. Okay. All right, 22. Uh, yeah, let's do flame barrier. And then double up on the uppercut. Okay. And a bite. I honestly didn't expect that I could perfect this, but it's looking not bad at all. Another set of uppercuts. Okay, and then bite. I have to admit, the sadistic nature helped quite a bit. Yeah, that was impressive. We got a fear potion as well as, yeah, I guess the um, corruption. Yeah, corruption is the only rare card so far, but I think I, I, oh, I could remove it, I guess. I'm not sure if I should, because I'm not a big fan of any of these, although brutality is fine. Apotheosis, actually brutality might be difficult if my max HP drops even further. Apotheosis is great, but I feel like I already have a lot of cards upgraded and I have four armaments. So, yeah, you know what? I think I'll skip and then try to remove the um, the corruption on Act 3. Here, I could go with the Busted Crown. I feel like I need energy, right? Sacred Bug would be great because I have uh, the Potion Belt. Tiny House, probably not necessary. Let's go with the Busted Crown. I just need the energy. Gain extra energy to start your turn. Future card rewards have two less cards to choose from. I had an Awakened one, which is unfortunate, because I do have a few good powers I would like to get out, but it's fine. Two Elite Paths. Two, two Elite Paths. If I stick on the left, that'll give me one, two, three, four question marks, and then either a shop here or a fifth question mark there. If I stick on the right, uh, that's one, two... Yeah, much less. Yeah, much, much less. All right, so I'll stick on the left, and then I'll make the decision at the end if I want to go for another shop or another question mark. Still need... Uh, two curses, right? Yeah. Alright, so here... Um, let's see. Probably keep the armaments. What else do I want to play? Maybe uppercut? Yeah, let's keep the uppercut too. It's pretty useful. Okay. Alright, so let's do upgrade everything here. Double up on the uppercut. Sure. Um, and then I can do a bite. Yeah, let's just get rid of the spiker. I don't have to worry about them. I will take some damage here, but I think that's fine. Mm-hmm. And then I'm fully defended here. Let's just do Bite and uh, I'll do Flame Bearer, sure. I could have played the Defend. Lost a little bit of HP for no reason there. Alright, uh, another Bite. Uh, let's Headbutt. A Bite again. Okay, and then uh, Perfect the Strike. Okay. Mm. Alright, so this guy's going to be... Actually, they're both dead. Perfect. All right, we've got a Blood Potion, Impatience. Yeah, I'll take it. I mean, it's not going to hurt. Okay, yeah, the only problem with the Busted Crown, it makes it a little harder to get the Collector Bonuses. Let's get rid of everything here. Actually, because I'll be able to play the Corruption, I can keep the Infernal Blade, but probably don't need anything else. Okay. All right, so let's do Corruption. Infernal Blade gives me an Emulate, which I would like to upgrade. And play that. And then Clothesline. 
Oh, they're all... Didn't realize they all have the same amount of HP. Okay. Hmm. And then here, let's do clothesline. That could kill somebody, right? Okay. And then headbutt. The emulate. Uh, bite. And yeah, the defend alone is not enough. Okay, but I do have the emulate. That should kill the frontliner next turn. And then, yep. Good. Alright. Uh, cleave. Yeah, I'll take it. Might as well. And to get to 50 cards anyway. Definitely want to fight for a relic here. Okay, so I could try exhausting things. I have to feel no pain. Mm, yeah, this is a little tough. I would well actually here. Let's do feel no pain. Then double play the uppercut. Okay. And then against eleven uh, yeah, let's do bloodletting, armaments, the flame barrier. Uh not eleven, I mean twenty one. Yeah, that way I'm fully defended. Okay. 26 uh, here. Let's this doesn't actually kill right, huh? I could just do flame barrier again. Yeah, let's just do this. Okay, so 26 I have 19 um, You know what let me do armaments the bite that way I'll lose 2 HP, but I'm also healing 2 HP So it's HP neutral and also deal some damage to the back banner Okay, let's upgrade everything and then upgrade everything again bite and true grit that kills the back banner. Okay, 24, double up on the clothesline. And then true grit. No, uh, let's do sword boomerang first and then true grit. Probably overthink. Oh, it's only 30 minutes. For some reason, I thought I'm playing way too long, way too slowly, but I think I'm doing well. Okay. All right. We got peace pipe. You can now remove cards from your deck out. Rest sites. Very nice. And yeah, body slime is. Uh, gonna say it's not that useful, but let's take it. It might come in handy. Who knows? And then here, I don't want to... Oh, I'm actually... I have five bites, right? Yeah, let's lose. I'm okay losing one. Good. Okay. I wouldn't want to lose any of the others. Let's get rid of all of these. Um, uppercut is fine. I'll keep it. All right. Uh, let's do corruption, uppercut. Okay. Mm. 18. I am fully defended here, which is good. Uh, although, let me try to get a good body slam going. Iron Wave, Headbutt. What would I even Headbutt? Maybe an Uppercut again? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, let's just double up on the Uppercut. Look at that. Eight turns of vulnerability and weakness. 21. Okay, didn't draw too badly here. 14. That's uh, 18. You know what? Let me trigger the... Oh... Perfect the strike is 20 damage, but it's also pretty useless. Yeah, fine, let's keep it. Okay. Another 18. Upgrade everything. Feel no pain. Should have played the feel no pain first, of course. And then double up the clothesline. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Could have saved four extra HP, right? Okay, clothesline. Bite. Impatience gives me uh, a regret, which I don't want. Um, let me just do this. Okay, that way I'm dealing some extra damage and I should be able to kill with a good attack card. Good. Alright, we've got Liquid Memories. Sword Boomerang again, sure. Potential Collector bonus there. Alright, Reptomancer. So here I am pushing for the um, Corruption. Because that way I could kill the minions. Yeah, I didn't get that. Alright, let me start with the Headbutt. Minion just in case, and I'll get something like Uppercut. Then I can do Impatience. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Let's upgrade everything. I can do Bloodletting. Okay. Fra uh, flame Barrier. And then, yeah, I think I should do Uppercut. And might as well do Defend. Okay. Hmm. He is attacking this turn. Okay. So this might be a challenge. Let me think. I could get something by with the Liquid Memories. That could be a Flame Barrier. And then I could play everything, right? Um, let's try it. Okay, so let me bring back the Flame Barrier. Play that. And then I definitely want to play the True Grid at the end, right? So let me upgrade the armaments, then upgrade everything else. 
Oh, but then this guy doesn't get exhausted. Or this guy doesn't get killed. How do I kill that guy? Gonna do bite. Yeah, I might have to body slam this guy, right? Yeah, 61 damage. It's a shame. Yeah, if, actually, I guess if I true grit... What would I true grit, though? The bite? I would kill this guy, but not this guy. No, I think I have to... Yeah, that's, that's a shame, but I have to do body slam you. Bite you, and then true grit. Okay. Yeah, that was the only way, sadly. Alright, uh, feel no pain. Uh, hang on. How do I kill this guy? Huh. That might be a problem. Oh, that might be a big problem. How do I kill him? Let's definitely do feel no pain. I, I can play everything here, right? Can I defend against 25? So, armaments. This, I think, gets upgraded to 13, right? So, I'll be 18. No, that's not enough. I think my only hope is, is if I upgrade the sword boomerang... And then, uh, so then drink the flex potion. And then two hits have to kill, hit the backliner, right? If I want to maximize my chance, I could throw a few. You know what? Let's play it safe. Okay. I didn't need to, but it's better to be safe. Because that way only one hit would have been enough as well. Once I exhaust something else. All right. Let's do corruption. Double up on the clothesline. Okay. And then defend. All right. I feel like I should be able to kill if I get a good draw. And this is good enough. Good. All right. Had to use a bunch of potions, but I got it. We got Elixir as well as Dark Shackles is great. And Bottle Flame. Up and pick up an attack. So I should come with this card in your hand. What attack should I always start up with? I guess that could be the uh, uppercut. Just to have some weakness. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Ooh, uh, here I should try to get a curse. Oh, how many question, marks room, uh, question mark rooms do I have left? Yeah, I should definitely try to get a curse here. Uh, let's also get the... Keep the Corruption, Feel No Pain, and the Armaments, okay? Should have probably done the Flame Barrier too, fine. So Corruption, then uh, Feel No Pain, Armament, okay? And then uh, I should try to get the Curse as early as I can. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. 21. Let's do... Probably don't want to do Perfect the Strike, right? Let me do... Uh, well, I do want to do Perfect Strike just so I can use the Body Slam in the end. Yeah, that's not something I want. Let's do Swap Boomerang. And 21 is fine. Uh, yeah, let's not risk it. Mm, 15. Bite 1. And 10 is fine. Yeah, let me upgrade this. Okay. Mm, 22. Upgrade everything. Flame Barrier. And then I will double up on the clothesline. 16. And probably should have doubled up on Bash, actually. And not a big difference. Actually, it is a big difference because I would have dealt more damage that way, right? Which is fine. Okay, this. Double up on clothesline again. 36. That's unfortunate, but um, I am actually fully defended. Good. I'm going to say almost fully defended, but no, I am good. Double up on the clothesline again. And 16 is fine. And actually, this kills, right? Good. All right, that was actually a really good fight. Got a curse out of it, too. We got Havoc, which is okay. And then, yep, going this way. Ceramic Fish, when I add a card to get deck, gain 9 gold. A little too late for that, but I'll take it. And question card, future card awards, have one additional card to choose from. Yeah, as long as... Oh, actually, this is a shop. All right, so now I don't actually have to go for that last shop. Good. So here, I have to buy the relics to get to 25 cards, right? Because there's 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Although, I do have one more elite, so I only need two. Let me just buy the lantern, so I just come with additional energy. And Art of War, if you do not play any attacks on your turn, get additional energy next turn. Because that way, I have 24. I'll get one more here. And I don't want really want to get the Prismatic Shard. Sentinel is not a bad idea. Yeah, sadly, none of these cards will give me a collector bonus. Let me... Uh, do I want to remove the Corruption? I mean, it's 50 points, right? Let's try. Let's try removing the corruption. I'm just worried that it might make it much difficult to perfect things, but I have to risk it. Let's also get the power potion in skill or fire. Let's take the skill potion. And then let's take shrug it off, sentinel. Do I want to do whirlwind? I guess I have energy. And I would like to get to 50 cards, right? All right, fine. Let's do whirlwind. And uh, I could either afford evolve or jack of all trades. And I think I'll go with the jack of all trades here. Okay, 46. I would need to get every single card to get to 50. Let's try it. 
All right, Nemesis. Uh, let's get rid of all of these. I definitely want to start off with the uppercut. Okay, yep, uppercut. And then clothesline and bite. Not a bad start. If he does a big attack, though, I might just, with the wrong draw, I might just be dead. Oh, they do have a blood potion, which is nice. Um, is this the bad draw? Uh, no, I can fully defend here, right? Yep. And then let's, uh, I can play everything here. So, oh, he's intangible. Unfortunate. Would have dealt 40-something. No. With the intang or vulnerability, it would be 60 damage. Too bad about that. Let's do feel no pain. Sword boomerang. Let me upgrade the jack. Well, let's see what this gives me. Yeah, probably don't want magnetism. Let's just upgrade the bite and play that. Okay. Mm. 12. That seems defendable. Well enough, of course I don't have enough block. Yeah, let me see if the skill potion gives me block. Panic button? Dangerous? Actually, I think I'll do the entrench instead. Yeah, that way there's still a chance of me being able to defend next turn. Double up on the uppercut and play a bite. Okay. And then here I should be able to kill. Alright, fine. Got a Kabiko, your first attack each combat deals 8 additional damage, as well as Entrench. Let's go with the second wind. That's definitely better. And then I decided to go for left for one more question mark. I need one more curse. Hopefully that question mark will give that to me. Um, I think I'll do Flame Barrier and something like Uppercut, right, to deal with the Spikers. So let's get rid of everything else. Oh, maybe with the Akabiko I should have... Oh, actually, Whirlwind with Akabiko is pretty good. Yeah, let me do Flame Barrier and then Whirlwind. Okay. That took a little bit. Actually, no, I healed all my damage back up. I already have enough armaments, right? So I guess I'll go with the deep breath. Yeah, the worst thing is if this question mark doesn't give me either a curse or a regular card, because then I'll be left with 49 cards, which would be very sad. And I'm fighting the maw again. Let's do feel no pain, double up on the uppercut, and then um, probably just do clothesline here. I should have done the maul. I guess it would have just been one extra damage with the, um, what was it? Body Slam. All right, so here only three incoming. I'm fully defended against that. Let's do Bite, and that's it. Hmm. All right, uh, probably don't need to waste the Dark Shackles here. Yeah, sadly, Mind Blast is useless, but it is played twice. I should have done Deep Breath, right? That would have made the Mind Blast much stronger. Yeah, my bad. Okay. Hmm. 22. Um, let's do flame. Or not 22, 12, right. We'll double up on the clothesline and then body slam. Okay. Mm. And then here. Yeah, I guess I could upgrade everything, double up on the uppercut, and then see what the Havoc plays. Defend. Alright, probably not super necessary. Should be able to kill with a good draw. Okay. Alright, got fruit juice. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll drink it. Why not? Sword Boomerang, good instincts. I'll take another Sword Boomerang, sure. And this is a curse. Okay, that gives me 50 cards and 5 curses. Perfect. Alright, nice. So I did get the curse modifier. I'm very happy with that. Is there anything I need to... No, no. If I remove something, I'll lose my Encyclopedia modifier, right? So let's just upgrade... What would I want to upgrade? Yeah, probably just an armaments. That makes it a little easier. Okay. Alright. I probably want to keep the power pushing until later. Let me think about this first. Okay, so, oh, feel no pain is tempting, but without the corruption, I don't actually exhaust that much. So I don't think I will play it now. Let's get rid of that. Um, let's see, although Infernal Blade would work well with it in this particular turn, right? Oh, this is hard. I do need defense, though. Let me try to keep this as emergencies, and then I will get rid of everything except for the uppercut, because the weakness is going to be really useful, too. And I just need... Yeah, he'll attack for 15, right? I need a good defensive card. Let me see if this is enough. Okay, Flame Bear is not bad. All right, so then let's do Feel No Pain. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if I should have done the Sword Boomerang with the Akabika, but no. I think I'll double up on the Uppercut. Okay, and then Flame Barrier. All right, it's a little dangerous, but I think I should be fine. Okay, so quite a bit of incoming here. Let me upgrade everything. Uh, am I fully defended here? It's 27. I have... Yeah, I'm fully defended. Good. And then, uh, just to be safe, I'll headbutt the um, Flame Barrier again. I don't have an upgraded one. Yeah, fine. Has to be an upgraded one. Alright. 
Okay. So, again, upgrade everything. Then, flame barrier. 18 plus 20 is 38. Ooh, I might have trouble defending because I only have 26 right now. This is 37. If I do true grid, it'll be 30... Uh, it'll be 12 more, right? Yeah, I think I need true grid. Yeah, fine. Let's get rid of this. Yeah. Only able to perfect here thanks to Feel No Pain, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I really need to kill these minions. Uh, let me do bloodletting. Kind of want to do clothesline before um, I play deep breath. So let's kill one of these guys. Okay, then impatience. Okay, dark shackles is actually not bad, but I uh, think I am going to have trouble defending here. Let's do deep breath. Oof, this is tough. Can I do anything? Actually, what I can do is I can exhaust these three for... Do I need body something? Let me get rid of that too. That'll give me block, right? Is that going to be enough though? Okay, so wait. I have 27 incoming. I have 21. Yeah, true grid is enough. So let's do... I kind of want to keep dark shackles, but I can't do it together with the true grid. Alright, fine. Let's do dark shackles and then... Um... Well, now I don't even need to play the true grid. Okay. Am I doing that time? 45. Yeah, I already passed the 45 mark. I am thinking about it too much, but it's good to think. So let's do armaments. Okay. I can play everything here, right? Yeah, let's go say armor, armaments again, defend. And unless this plays something amazing. How much is it? 28, 38. No, I'm, I'm still somewhat fully defended. Okay. I really need to kill this cultist. It's getting too strong by now. Uh, yeah, this would do it. And then 1621. Perfect. Okay. Flame barrier. And then I can just do a bite. I don't need to do bloodletting. Okay. So far, so good. Just really worrying every turn to try to defend. Yeah, here. Oh, he's not weakened anymore. It'll drop down to 15, right? Yeah, double up on the clothesline and the flame barrier. Okay. Mm. Another 20. And yeah, this is where I stop getting lucky. Yeah, nothing I can do, right? Um, nothing I can do. Okay, fine. I, I really tried my best. Uh, let me double up on the bash this time. Okay. Yeah, and I, I also think I need to drink the blood potion here. Might as well. Alright, 15. Um, yeah, I knew this was going to happen in the sense that I was getting pretty lucky so far. And it would have been difficult to keep it up. Double up on the clothesline. I will still try to preserve as much HP as possible, though. Yeah, even most of my plate of armor is gone. Could have played that one attack card there. All right, uh, let's do armaments. Upgrade everything. Flame barrier since I have a multi hit incoming. Okay. Hmm. Fifteen. I thought. Ah, I guess I didn't realize I never played the infernal blade. Let's see what the impatient gives me first. Okay, double up on the uppercut. Hmm. Yeah, fine. Let's double up on the uppercut and then upgrade the Infernal Blade because that that way I can play it and another uppercut. Okay. Well, now I'm going to try to survive because I know I can't perfect, but can I survive? Uh, let's do Flame Barrier and then more uppercuts. Okay. 20. It is pretty close. Wait, can I kill here? This will be... 13 times 4, right? That should be enough. Okay, now let me see what the power potion gives me. Another feel no pain or a corruption. Uh, tough, tough. Ideally, I would go with both. I don't think I need another feel no pain because I don't think I have much left to um, exhaust. Let's go with the corruption, I guess. But it is dangerous. The next attack will be 40 incoming, right? 41, right? Okay, okay. This is actually a pretty lucky hand. Let's do flame barrier, ghostly armor. Okay, then I'll do deep breath first. And then I am fully defended. Okay, I don't even need the armaments. Good. I really didn't expect it would go this way. Mm -hmm. 33. Finesse. Flame Bear. I was hoping for uh, something that gives me two attacks. Or uh, that I can play twice. So let's do armaments. Okay, Flame Barrier. 33. I am fully defended still. Okay. Another 33. 
Uh, yeah, let's upgrade everything. Double up on the clothesline, but that's pretty much it. At least I'm still alive, so probably don't need perfect strike. Okay. 14. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. I think I have to try to kill. So let me double bash, then double clothesline. Then def or I guess single clothesline, right? Not double clothesline. Could have played the impatience for block. 24. Okay, flame barrier is pretty good here. And then uh, double whirlwind is pretty good. Yep. Okay. Mm. Another 24. Okay, luckily I do have to defend this. I should be able to kill fairly quickly, right? Defend. I Well, let's play another defend. Okay. Just need one more good attack. All right. It was definitely close with the wrong card draw. I could have just easily died, but I got through it. Wasn't able to perfect that last one, though. All right, 1290. I think that was better than I expected. All right, so out of the seven elites, I perfected three. It's a little disappointing, but yeah, I missed everything on Act 1, and I got a little unlucky on some of the Act 2 fights. And then perfected two out of three bosses. Yeah, that last one, I cannot imagine how I could have perfected, at least not with this deck. I do wonder... Actually, no, if I kept the Corruption, that would have been a disaster, right? Because I would have run out of skills very quickly. So I did. I am glad that I got rid of it, and I got Popper. I got four Collector bonuses, and Sigubidian just barely, and Curses just barely. So I think the Curses really helped. I think that made, made my score pretty pretty good. And then it got 16 question mark rooms, so Mystery Machine as well. I think with, well, obviously perfecting the last elite or boss would have helped with 100 points. But yeah, right now I'm fifth. Okay, that's pretty good. So I am trying to think if I had perfected the last elite, that would have been another 100. So 1390. And then, so 1440 would be another 50 on top of that. So maybe perfecting a few more elites. So that's feasible. I just cannot imagine how that happened. I mean, that must have been... Yeah, I'm trying to think what other set of cards I would have to draw or what other strategy I would have to take for that to work. Maybe just really leaning into a um, exhaust energy deck would have worked. But uh, yeah, I can't think of anything. Also, I don't see any familiar names. It is somewhat early in the day. I do wonder if maybe people just haven't had a chance to play it or um, if maybe a lot of people had trouble um, surviving. Because, you know, with the terminal modifier, you always end up with very little max HP in the end. And that can be pretty disastrous. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you did. Thanks for watching. Bye.